guys, so today we're going to talk about Yeo Kusama. She is an artist from Japan and we are going to create our Kusama world art. So first, you're gonna pick out two of your favorite colors. My favorite color is blue, so I have this page right here. And then you're gonna wanna pick a separate color to go on top. So I'm gonna choose pink. The materials that you'll need are scissors, a Sharpie or a dark colored marker, and I have navy blue, a pencil, your paper, and the glue stick. So, you choose any color paper that you wanna draw on. So, we are going to create organic shapes, just like Kusama did in her artwork. Mushrooms, you see how she has organic shapes? They're not the same all the way around. They're different everywhere, and they're bright colors. That's why I chose my favorite two colors, pink and blue. So we're gonna create a shape. I have to pick something that I like. So I'm going to pick a raindrop and I'm gonna put it on this piece of paper. So you're gonna take your pencil and draw your favorite shape. So I'm gonna do a raindrop and it doesn't have to be perfect. We have to cut it out, make sure it's very large. And this is my raindrop. Now we're gonna take your Sharpie and outline the organic shape with the marker. And take your time, you might wanna separate it. It doesn't have to be one big long motion. You can pick it up and start it, turn your paper, that might be a little easier. Then I have my raindrop. So after that, I'm gonna put one of the papers to the side and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm gonna cut out my organic object. It doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure that you don't cut your fingers. You keep your fingers on one end and the scissors on the other end. And I have my shape. So the extra paper you don't need. Toss it to the side. So an organic shape. These are examples of organic shapes. You see how they're not the same? If you fold it in half, then it will not match. Then it, is, it does not match. But a geometric shape, it does match when you fold it in half. So you're gonna take your other paper that you did not use and place the organic shape on top of it. It can be to the side, in the middle, upside down, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do an upside down raindrop. And then I'm going to take my glue and glue this to the paper. Now that I put the glue on the back of my organic shape, I'm gonna drop it down and press it down with all of my hands. Rotate it and make sure you smooth it out so that it's even on the page and no parts are peeling up. You're 
you're gonna wait, hold it, and wait for about 10 seconds. <laughs> so now it's time to curate our Kusama project like she has here. So I have my shape. She has her butterfly. She really likes butterflies. Those are her favorite colors and they really pop, really bright colors. And it has a lot of line, a lot of color, a lot of line. So we're gonna add lines to ours. We're gonna take our marker and across the page, we're just gonna draw lines. A line is just a continued dark mark or it could be light, but today it's gonna be dark on the paper. So we're gonna do that a couple times. They can curve or they can be straight. And then you're gonna rotate the paper and you're gonna do it again. So now that I have my lines, just like her, she has the lines in the background and she has them on two different colors, the red, the green, and the blue. I have mine on the pink and the blue. Now it's time to put a design. So on each pattern, we're gonna create a design full of lines. And that all that's all a design is, is continued lines, a lot of lines, a lot of circles. It can be anything. So I'm gonna use circles in this one. chose to do dots so I have a lot of dots and it goes on the pink and the blue so as long as it's inside of this shape it has to be the same pattern so in this shape I'm going to do another design in each of these I'm going to make a design that are different in each one, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. 